Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Persona 3, and we are on the next day. So it is the 21st, but it's the end of 21st. So we have about nine days left until the final fight, and we just learned that Mitsuru is actually getting an arranged marriage to figure out whether or not she is going to... To, do it, to basically secure the future of the Kirijo group. But anyways, you overhear a conversation. Our career counseling is next week, right? Are you planning to go to a university, Yumi? Yep, I'm going to a school overseas. Over this is the first time I've heard about this. I'm your boyfriend. You have to tell me this stuff. The first bell is wrong. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. That's exactly what happened to me. I'm that, I'm that boyfriend. Like, that's... <laughs> God damn, this, oh, that hit home, like, out of the whole, the whole show, or the whole game, that's the one point that hit me the hardest. It's been restless out there lately, have you been, have you seen all those flyers at the station? But none of that stuff has any credibility, there's no credibility in what they say, that's right, it's a matter of probability. Hey, don't give me those looks. The end of the world, let's discuss this with respect to probability. You feel tired? Close your eyes for a few minutes, you'll stay awake. Uh, so, as you can see, you can't prove the end of the world is nay, nigh. Which means you shouldn't worry about it. Instead, take a good look at the elegance of this proof. Numbers are the truth. Truth is beauty. Even if the world ends, numbers will remain. If Even if humans vanish, taking mathematics with them, the concept of numbers won't disappear. Numbers will outlast humanity, I guarantee it. So fascinating. You stayed up and listened to the lecture, academics increase. What's the point of the the whole idea of numbers if there's no one to celebrate it? So, I mean, I can't agree with her on that. Class has ended for today. Let's go hang out with Mitsuru, maybe? I think she's available on Mondays. Or is it Tuesday? I think it might be Tuesday. But, we're closing in on that, that last fight. So, we still have not... There's still not a lot revealed about what Strega is going to do. We don't know if they're going to... I mean, previously, Strega has stopped us right before the fight. So I assume that's what's going to also happen here. He's They're going to try to attempt to stop us from fighting Nyx. Or probably fight us right before Nyx. So. I mean, it's not the worst idea, but... I mean, Strega we're dealing with. They weren't too difficult. Every single one of them is a bitch. Even Chidori. Rest in peace. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, nothing new. So we're gonna go back to our room and head on back. So a little bit over a week before the next. Ooh, is that Mitsuru? Yes. Hi, it's me. Do you have any time to talk? Sure. Would you like to do something next Sunday? Uh, you, yes, we are gonna accept the offer. Hell yeah, great. Then it's a date. Now don't forget. Mitsuru seems excited. Now don't forget. Click. <laughs> click. We're gonna sleep earlier. Very nice. So now Mitsuru is with us. Let's see what we can do now. Saturday. Your condition has improved because you've rested. So we still have class on Saturday. We have just one day before the weekend. So class has ended for today. I'm sure Mitsuru is also available. We might do what is, what is Yukari's takoyaki date. But I think with Mitsuru, it is either a library date or the wild duck date. But we'll see just now. Nuyen, what a coincidence. Are you leaving now? Mitsuru seems to be curious about how you react. We are going to spend some time with her. And hopefully we don't fuck up this Sunday, right guys? Which is the next day. Oh, yep. So we're going to have the wild duck date, which is just... Oh, wait, never mind. I have acquired a taste for the fast food. Do you remember when I said that I was hesitant to meet with you like this? Well, could you just pretend you never heard that? We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in worrying about it. And I should confirm my decision. There's a melancholy tone to the series voice. Hey, Nguyen, do you want to see how many places we can visit in one day? Or is that being selfish? Let's do it. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Let's visit all the restaurants you introduced me to in order. I can go anywhere now as long as you're with me. Mr. is smiling. Thank you, Nia. Let's make some memories that will last forever. You understand how Mitsuru feels. Your relationship is stronger now. And that is level 7 or 6? It's either 7 or 6. I think it's 6. 
that is seven. We are super close, guys. We are super close to uh, maximizing that. It seems like things are getting serious with Mitsuru. You spent time with Mitsuru until you just before curfew, and then you returned to the dorm. All right, cool. You would think that there would be no curfew for this girl since she owns. Where have you been? Where have you been? One week until the thirty-first, huh? You think you already know this, but once you go to the Tartarus on the 31st, you won't be able to leave until the battle is over. If you, if we lose, then there won't be a tomorrow, and we won't get a chance at a rematch. You should spend the next week getting prepared for this fight. Ha! Huh? No. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna continue on. Uh, what will you do? We'll sleep earlier. Uh, what is weary, or what's gonna be difficult? Oh, wait, no, tomorrow I have a date, so I don't have a Sunday. That is completely wasted, so just one more week. Next Sunday. There's no school today. You're meeting someone today. It's about time you leave. Let's do it. Exactly one week. Next Sunday. You want today's strip mall? Book on. You're having a good time with Mitsuru. I didn't realize how many different types of manga there are. Mitsuru seems to be enjoying herself. I have a question. Mitsuru has a curious look on her face. Why do people go to manga cafes? You can't borrow any of the books like at a library, and yet you have to pay admission to get in. Since manga aren't that expensive, why don't people just buy them? It's a nice environment. It's a little, uh, it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's a nice environment. I see. Well, they do let you eat in there, and it's an open late. Mitsuru seems to understand. Today you learned something new about her. You have something that might make Mitsuru happy. Would you like to give her as a gift? Uh, I don't think I have anything. Oh no! You don't have any- Oh no! Huh. I have nothing. I'm the worst. I have nothing. Oh, I have a lucky charm. Ooh, for me? Oh, an excellent choice. But more importantly, I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Thank you, Nguyen. Mitsuru seems to really like your present. Hell yeah! Your relationship could become stronger soon. It's getting dark out. You decided to go back to your dorm. I had a lucky charm this whole time. Give that to her. Th Koro. Koro-chan gave me that. Hi. How was your day? The god. Koro-chan, the god. Alright, so we have exactly one week before the boss fight. We are gonna... Go to bed early and continue on as if nothing is wrong, just as we predicted we were going to do. I mean, we have just under a week to prepare for this fight, and there's nothing like preparing by sleeping in, right? Let's see what this is. You overhear a conversation? I've heard a lot of talk lately about salvation and the world becoming renewed. If the apathy syndrome is becoming widespread, maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm always hearing people talk about it on TV. I thought it was a cult at first, but maybe it isn't. I mean, if the world, a whole world believes in it, I'd feel stupid to be the only one denying it. Ah, uh, that is actually a communication theory called the spiral of silence, where if everyone's doing it, you feel obligated to do it, even though if it goes against it. A fun fact. Wow. We've already, uh, we, we're already to the last chapter in the textbook. Thanks for all your diligence. We've gone very quick. My last day as a teacher is coming up. I'm moving to India this spring. My darling is a missionary here, and he said he can't take this country anymore. Too many mysterious or incidents, he said. Don't get me wrong, though. I love Japan, so I'd like to thank you all for being such wonderful students. You feel tired? What? Close your eyes as she's giving her- No, thank you, Yukari, thank you, Kangi, thank you, Junpei, and thank you, Kenji. Thank you. She's crying. Ha! <laughs> I don't know what's come over me. I have a month left here, but thank you. Why would you go to sleep on her goodbye speech? You rude ass, Kangi. Alright, so it is after school. Well, Miss Tori, Let's you mean- begin, shall we? Oh, this is the counseling for after- like, after you graduate, so. I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. That she has to be Maya. All right. First question. Okay. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate? Let's do this exactly the way course? that I'm doing it. So, uh, I am going. I go to college. I see. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, 
then I believe that is what you should do. Thank you. That's what I did do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. Whoa. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. Miss Toriyumi, you're speaking to the heart right here, man. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. Thank you, Miss Toriyumi. You've really matured over this last year. Oh. Oh my God. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. Thank you, Maya. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? Working hard, meeting people, losing a friend. Meeting people. I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. Th oh my God, Miss you. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Thank you. Oh my God, Miss Horiyumi. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Ah, uh, Aiga-san. Would you mind letting her know? Yes. Thank you. All right. So, just a quick little thing. Oh, shit. What is this? I guess seems to be lost in thought. Can I talk to you? Oh, there you are. Something on your mind? Hmm? I'm um, sorry, I went off on my own. Oh, Aegis. It's nothing. Really. Uh, if you guys don't remember, Aegis was repaired and think. became more human, so. She seems to have something important to talk about. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. What's going on? Oh, she doesn't have a resolution. When I er fought oh, Ryoji, I, know she I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. Was she I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. Okay. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. So she has matured into a, like, human. I, I really have changed. Yes, you have. Don't worry about it. I like you better now. Yes, you have. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. Okay. You know, in the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. Okay. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. Only you can answer it. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. What the is reason that? why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. Jesus but Christ. What is it? Even though death is gone now, I still want to be by your side. It's because you love me. <laughs> Easy. I still don't know what it means to live yet. You are alive. But I want to learn the answer, and I think I can if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. Of course. All right. I need you with me. Don't let me down. <sighs> Thank you. Mitsuru comes by, slaps all of us. You suddenly remember that Miss Horiyumi is waiting to meet Aegis. You leave the rooftop with Aegis. So, I think Aegis is one of the more interesting characters, as she has shown a lot of growth as a person, and I think the whole aspect of human or intelligent life is an interesting subject, and to have her portrayed as someone weak and fragile is a very interesting concept but we are just gonna head on back to the dorm and continue on so we have about five days left so nothing too crazy but yeah i think i guess is one of the cooler characters i mean she has to do with the past the start of tartarus i mean she was a hot girl <laughs> eventually became a part of the team she like basically dies comes back i mean she's most dynamic i feel I, but the whole cast is very stupendous she's just i think she's one of the better ones hi how is your day pretty good tonight or today might be our last monday if we don't win there won't be another we'll be fine i guess we will win we have no other choice you're right i guess we have to win Alright, but that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.